force be with you. Nice. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 most expensive Black Series I have in my collection. But before we get into the top 10 list, remember to subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. Also for the top 10 list, I won't be including San Diego Comic Con exclusives such as the X-Wing Luke or the Boba Fett. I also won't be including multi-packs such as the new Amazon exclusive Mando, Ahsoka, and Grogu 3-pack or the Shop Disney exclusive concept art Obi-Wan and Vader, just to name a few. Now with all that being said, let's jump into the top 10. At the number 10 spot, we have Galaxy Packaging Chopper. Chopper goes for around $60.24 according to Action Figure 411. Action Figure 411 is what I use to rank my figures throughout this video. At number 9, we have Clone Wars Obi-Wan, the Target exclusive. He goes for about $60.50. Honestly, I thought he'd be way higher on the list because this is, if not the best Black Series Obi-Wan we've ever gotten. At number eight on the list, we have the Bad Batch Hunter. He goes for around $62.75. And he didn't come out that long ago. But the only reason his prices are going up is because they canceled the print because they're probably just waiting to force feed us the Season 2 Bad Batch crew, which I'm probably going to buy because I'm a shill. At the number 7 spot, we have the Walgreens exclusive Commander Obi-Wan Kenobi. He goes for around $71.38. I don't. That's not the head or saber that comes with this figure. I have the head on this archive obi-wan because the archive head is absolutely disgusting but i did want a more accurate obi-wan to the tartakovsky tartaska or however you pronounce it but i wanted a more accurate obi-wan to that show to go with the mace and grievous at the number six spot we have clone commander fox fox goes for around 72 dollars and 57 cents nothing too special about fox i I mean, the weathering is great, don't get me wrong, but I'm just not a fan of the character. Hashtag justice for fives. At the number five spot, we have the Bad Batch Crosshair. He goes for around $73.06. Same thing with Hunter. They canceled this figure a little early, in my opinion, just to prepare for the season two looks. But I'm assuming Crosshair is just going to still be in his Imperial, uh, his Imperial outfit. At the number four spot, we have Cara Dune from the Redbox line. She goes for around $76.45. Um, it's sad that what's going on with the character and the actress that she's no longer in The Mandalorian. Uh, but, you know, she's a great figure. Other than that, I mean, her character is amazing. I love her character. Just the badass female role. But other than that, we'll probably never get another release of Cara Dune. At the number three spot, we have clone Captain Rex. Captain Rex goes for around $85.28. Actually got lucky with mine. I took a road trip with my buddy. We drove around two hours-ish all the way to PA. And we went to this local mom and pa collectible shop. And I scored mine for like $65, maybe $60. And this is honestly the most sought after Black Series figure in my opinion. If you can find them, I say pick them up immediately. Don't don't even risk coming back another day. At the number two spot, we have Archive Anakin. He goes for around $107.87. I did have two of these, but I actually picked up the SH Figure Arts Episode 3 Anakin. And that just blows the Black Series out of the park. It, we need an updated Black Series Episode 3 Anakin. Uh, it, it's been said multiple times, but we need it. He does not come with this robe. I just have this soft goods robe on him. And I don't know. I'm wasting the robe more or less because he's just sitting in a storage drawer. I did paint his glove black and put silver accents just because I didn't like 
how the sleeves and the glove were the same shade. At the number one spot, if you haven't guessed it already, is the Emperor Palpatine with his throne. This goes for around $124.77. I remember seeing this on Amazon for like $30, $40 before I even got into Black Series when I was when I was still collecting small. I think I only had an X-Wing Luke at the time. But I, I wish I had to pick this up then. I think I paid like $130 for this. And I don't regret it, but you know, it hurts the wallet. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my top 10 most expensive Black Series I have in my collection. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. I appreciate you guys, and you guys have a great rest of your day.